So this is me playing around trying to figure out how this thing thinks and works, etc. Module two is nothing. I took your module that you wrote, uh, Evgenia, and slammed it in here. Um, just the way you wrote it and how I'm trying to organize it per what you wrote out. Um, obviously, it doesn't match. This is this would have been module three in algebra, which is chapter four. And the majority of your stuff is chapter four, so the questions will match up, but it can be wiped out and cleaned or whatever. I don't know. So I'm going to try to show you what can be done. These things can be collapsed. I'm sure most of this you know or saw previously. These can be collapsed at the module level, but after that, there is no collapsing. So in other words, when I get into polynomial functions, the stuff that I just entered quickly, um, this doesn't collapse. I can't collapse this any further. These are individual pages and then we're gonna step through them. You can navigate to each one individually by clicking on this, and then this assignments thing and this learning activities content, those are just like text dividers, and then I've indented these one level. They can be indented as I showed you before. Um, if I edit this, I can change the indent down three more levels, so I can indent again and indent again, um, and that's it. So how, does, how Canvas thinks about this is if I click on introduction, I'm gonna get the introduction that you had. I didn't have the logo thing because it was not copying and pasting and I had this, would have had would have taken longer. And then you'd have introduction, then we'd have this, learning outcomes. Um, are those learning outcomes from the syllabus or are they from the text? They look like core learning outcome from the syllabus, but I didn't match it up. Then um, it goes right into your prior knowledge check and my question is the following, not for you, but for the tech ed people. Um, I think we don't, this is in as an assignment. And it was organized under the reading just because, uh, or the learning activities. I put it under this, but I, I created it instead of as a page, I created a, it as an assignment. Um, such that it could have a rubric and it has points and it goes in the grade book. But I don't think we want to do that because all of this resides at no score, resides in Hawk. So we would want to make this a page, I believe. And that may be what Edutech won't know what to do here. But maybe they're more savvy than we are, or than I am, I should say. I shouldn't impugn you. So then once I go into Hawks, I would suggest maybe we make it easy for them and put a link to Hawks' student login page whenever we're directing them to go to Hawks. It would open up a new tab, they would click over there, boom, do the work in Hawks, and when they close that tab, they'd come right back here. That's just my thing, um, if it makes sense. Reading, I thought I put stuff in there, but okay, I guess I didn't. Um, I'm not gonna waste your time doing it now. I put the reading thing in here. Teaching content, I changed this to green text just would stand out so they know it's watch, watch, read, watch, but we can pick any color we want, blah, blah, blah. These are links to the videos. I would probably not link to my web page necessarily, but link to the content directly in um, YouTube. Keep doing it the way you're doing it. I can quickly change it once we get it into the 1110 after Edutech has their play in it. But you'd rather have this or would you have it embedded? I'll show you what I mean by embedded. I was hoping to have it embedded because it was easier, but it doesn't matter to me. I don't have a strong preference. Um, I guess links might be cleaner looking instead of having a whole bunch of pictures, um, which I might show you later. Weekly office hours, I made it a, a grading item because we would grade it and it wouldn't reside in Hawks. So we want this to be worth something. I put zero and I put submitting nothing um, because they wouldn't be submitting anything. And we'd have a rubric, but I don't know if we need to do all that rubric stuff. We would just have this. Uh, then the discussion one, which was under assignments, is uh, which was the first item under assignments. Uh, nope, weekly office hours was the first thing under assignments. I put it there only because they need to know that they need to do that before they get to the end of the week when they start doing this work and now it's too late to, to join. So they need to know they do that right up front. So then the discussion assignment was here and you're, this is an embedded video. The way that it was embedded, you chose whatever size to be small. We could do that for all of them as well. 
And of course, this will open a new tab. Whenever uh, this, I think, will play it in place. Yeah. And then this will open up a new tab, which it just did. Hello. But we can go back that way. Professor. And so, um, after you post your video, so these are your directions. You want them to join your Flipgrid. That was discussion one, so they're embedding their video as a response to the discussion. Um, discussion two is the directions here ex, uh, and all that. We would have grades because this is not in Hawks. We might have the rubric here, etc. I don't know. So then Hawks and journaling, I put content, so I don't know why it's not, not displaying. I guess maybe I didn't get it in there. But um, again, I would... I could have sworn I put this in there. All of this. Now I want to see what it looks like. So my apologies. There it is. Um, we would have that. So the Hawks part, I would tend to want to separate these because the Hawks would not be a grade in here. It would be mapped over when we sync it. Hawks sync tool. And then journal would be separate because we're going to put a grade in via um, Canvas. So this, we would have a new group. We would call it journal. Because we're going to have to manage two grade book stuff, one in here and then one in Hawks. The Hawks one is pretty much already done, but I don't know if we saw the two points. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We'll change it later. And submission type would be online. It would be a text entry, web, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, it's going to be over in the journal sections, or the, actually, maybe not in the journal section. I don't know. What, if you want videos, uh, file uploads, etc., unlimited attempts, blotty, blotty, blotty. Um, so that's that. I guess the readings, I didn't get in there. Um, this is the quiz, so it's directing the go to Hawks to take the quiz. So this would be, I would say, I've made it an assignment, but we don't want it to be an assignment. We want it to be a page that links them to Hawks. They take it in Hawks and then Hawks will push, once we get the sync tool, Hawks will push it into the gradebook here. Uh, I believe that's what we want, but I, it, again, I don't know. And so then it rolls us into M4. I'm suggesting we label stuff M3, M4, M2 only so that, because what happens is the way Canvas thinks, it puts all of our assignments into, um, into this repository. And if I have Hawks and journaling, Hawks and journaling, Hawks and journaling, it doesn't, well, I guess it identifies here that it's in module three. So maybe that's helpful. I don't know. I didn't know it was going to do that. But I was picturing them dumping them in all together uh, under assignments. And these are categories I created for grading, discussion, quiz, office hours, and journal. This one does not have an assign, has a category for the grade book. This one's open, um, not assigned. And so if you don't assign it, they'll all dump into assignments and be piled together. But I guess we don't have to put M3 if we're if it's labeling what module we've assigned it to. Because you'd have the discussion for module two and module one and module four all in here as well. I don't know if this is helpful in terms of scene stuff. Um, in contrast, the all the videos as embedded would look like that. Because I, I linked all that stuff. Oh, wait, yeah. And so that's like seven videos for half of um, module one, the chapter one review stuff. So I don't know. 